I've think always wanted to be on here. I think they like you. Hi, I've always wanted to be on here. It's been so long since I've been screamed at. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Does it feel strange being on your own? Um. No, because I've got you guys. Yeah. Well, honestly, like, I've been doing gigs and stuff, but I've got, like, backing singers and musicians, mm. so I'm, I'm not actually technically on my own. Yeah. Um, so it's just... it's different. Yeah. Um, now, you said we're calling you Marcus now. I know you said you're not precious about no, this. No, I'm not. So really if we not. call you Marcus, so many people know you as Mark. But this, mm. was, this was a departure, obviously, from, from Westlife, so you wanted to, to kind of just well, have a different feel? Or... Yeah, I mean, Marcus is, like, it actually is my name, you know. Um, it's on my birth cert, passport, everything. Um, it's been my Twitter name for years as well, and loads of people do call me Marcus. People call me Sparky, people call me Marky, whatever. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't bother me. Um, so, yeah, the Marcus thing is just, like, official, say, for my yeah. album and gigs and stuff like that. It's just... And how it's, I suppose just... it's kind of the show that it is a different new kind yeah. of stage. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, Westlife were known for the big ballads that we all love so much. So how have, would you describe your new sound? Have you, have you tried to get completely <clears throat> away from that? Or? Um, it's more... It's darker and more soulful. It's not always kind of so chirpy and happy-go-lucky. Um, but it's still uplifting. There's lots of gospel choirs and strings and drum beats and stuff. Oh, so it's, it's not just kind of... Uh, it's not morbid, um, but it's definitely darker, and it's kind of it's about my real life. It's about experiences that I've actually went through and stuff like that. And I tend to uh, write songs when I'm a bit more peed off than. Uh, <laughs> than <happy. laughs> so uh, yeah, so yeah, the album, the lyrics are a bit more like that, yeah. you know. So it's very real for you. It's yeah, very definitely. I, I don't think I could stand on a stage and sing songs if, unless I believed them. I'm talking about by myself. It's easier when you're in a band and you know you can kind of just stand there and. I think by my, when I'm by myself, I have to really believe in it, or else I'd feel fake and I wouldn't. Be, I'd, I'd be nervous. I wouldn't be able to perform properly. So I have to be real. You know? Can you not, sorry, it's really nice actually for you to be sitting here on your own because when we've interviewed or when I've met uh, Westlife in the past, you were always the really. I always thought he's really shy and he's the quiet yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what people uh, mistakenly thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just couldn't be. Uh, you couldn't. Yeah. Be yeah. 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 I couldn't be yeah. fighting to be heard. But, yeah. um, no, I just, I just kind of. Yeah, a lot of people. Did kind of, and I, yeah. I can see why I came across like that. But when there's four or five people to, mm. to sort of, as you know, to try and get yeah. a word in Edgeworth, it oh. can be hard sometimes. <laughs> yeah. 